you're getting a second stimulus check, but when will it arrive? How much will it be? And will there be more stimulus checks going into next year? Hey everybody, this is LA Lake with a second stimulus check and stimulus package update for today. This one's about the check with great exciting news, it doesn't get better than this, about the check, especially if you're on SSDI, Social Security benefits, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits, and also about the package itself. Um, it just is, it has gotten so, so great today and also hilarious at the same time. That's why I'm laughing. It's the war of words from Mitch and Nancy. And yes, it's Thursday. And yes, they're supposed to be on vacation, but apparently they are breaking their vacation to give this channel some great quotes to members of press. What's going on? First of all, we already know that the second stimulus check is going to be approved because both sides have said it. Mitch has said it, Nancy has said it, and the White House has said it. So we have Republicans, Democrats, and the White House all saying there's going to to be a second stimulus check. Second, we know when it's going to get approved. We know it's going to get approved on or around August 7th or August 8th. Nancy today again repeated her great comments, exciting great news that she said two days before, which is, hey, if we don't get it done by August 7th or August 8th, you are not going on vacation. You are staying here for the till you get it done, whether it's August 9th or August 10th. Yesterday, this channel detailed that based upon that calculation, the earliest you would receive the second stimulus check could be as around August 28th-ish, but could be a little bit earlier. But if you receive your benefits for Social Security, railroad benefits, or veterans benefits by paper check, then you could be looking at early September. That's what's now confirmed. What is still on the table is the amount of the check uh, and the manner of delivery, because a lot of the parties have said that they want to do electronic deposit so it's faster, so you would get it in within a matter of a couple of days. And then also we have that issue about threshold, which a lot of you have been talking about. I'm going to get to that as right as well. So where are we? We currently are at lots of discussions about amounts of checks. The Democrats propose a single $1,200 check currently. And I'm going to make something very clear. This is the second stimulus check. They are not saying this is the last stimulus check. I haven't said that in a while, so I'm making that very clear to you. This is the second stimulus check, and this is not supposed to be the final one. The Democrats, excuse me, the Republicans have literally gone all over the place, and I'm going to get to Nancy's comments about that in a second. The Republicans' current version, current version, is there is a second stimulus check coming to you. There's two versions of that. What we do know, and what I delivered in great exciting news yesterday, is that Steve Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary to Donald Trump, and Mitch McConnell, the head of the Senate, are drafting their proposal for a second stimulus check package, the package and the check, and are going to present it to press, not Congress, but to press on or around next Monday. So we'll really see what they want to do. But if we are to hear their other words, they've also said that they're considering two options. They're considering, one, a check more than $1,200, two, a check that is given to less people but more money, or three, a uh, you know, another version of something like that where we restrict the number of people who are getting checks. Um, let me go through that. And then what's still on the table as well is reoccurring checks, a check every single month for six months or until the pandemic improves or settles down. That would be $2,000 per month. What I want to clarify and always keep you informed, educated, and smiling is that the issue is who would get the check. And that is also confirmed. All three parties say that people who don't make a lot of money are getting a check. Repeat, people who don't make a lot of money are getting a check. That is a universal consensus of Mitch, Nancy, uh, Stevie, and, and the White House. So everyone across the board is saying that people don't make a lot of money are getting a second stimulus check. Let me get to that threshold because I get a lot of comments about it. 
people could not keep on asking me, well, Mitch said $40,000 based upon 2019 earnings. What does that mean and how does that work? Ultimately, I'm not going to rub, I'm not going to go over too much about that because it's a proposal by air. It's literally Mitch talking out of his mouth. He hasn't re written it down in a document. If it is in Monday's announcement, it is likely that the way that Mitch will phrase it is, if you made 2019 earnings individually at $40,000, then you'll get a second stimulus check or less, $40,000 or less. Or if your husband and wife and you made in 2019 $80,000 or less, you'll get a second stimulus check. For purposes of viewers of this channel, if you're on SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits, you would get a second stimulus check. There is only one case in which you don't, in which you are on Social Security normal benefits and just happen to make a lot of money from other things like dividends or real estate. And you made, you know, $200,000 or $300,000 last year. You are just rich. You are a rich bitch. You are not getting a second stimulus check. Uh, and God bless you for, for doing well in your life. But that is universally the position for all the parties. The Democrats, the Republicans, and the White House don't want to give a second stimulus check to people who made um, hundreds of thousands of dollars last year. Where is this threshold going to fall? I don't know. We'll find out on Monday. But let's get to the twists and turns that is great today. So Nancy went out and spoke to reporters minutes ago, and LLA has the interview comments as well. Nancy really did what I've been doing for days, which is taking Mitch's words and put them right back in his mouth. Mitch originally, originally, back in May, said... I don't think there'll ever be a second stimulus package because America's doing so great and everyone's employed and everyone's making fortunes. So then Mitch said, okay, maybe there will be a second stimulus package, but it'll be very, very little. It'll just be a couple hundred thousands of dollars for the entire country. <laughs> then he said, okay, we'll do a second stimulus package and we'll give a second stimulus check and it'll be $1.3 trillion. Well, Nancy today just did that great, I told you so. She said, first... Mitch told press there's going to be a bell that she, 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 well, no let me re, let me I reread the quote I read the quote incorrectly let me read it again Mitch, we know there's going to be a bell first according to bitch the, bitch Mitch oh boy first according to Mitch there was not going to be a bell then it was going to be some little bill for Mitch now it's a 1.3 trillion dollar bill for Mitch that's still enough so she's basically taking Mitch on the progression of his insane comments from earlier early May to now, in which he said there was not going to even be a second stimulus package, then maybe there's a small stim stimulus package. Okay, maybe we'll give you 1.3 trillion million, 1.3 trillion. You know what Nancy should have added to that is what Donald Trump has actually said, which is, I want a, I don't think 1.3 trillion is enough as well. Donald Trump has said he wants a stimulus package around $2 trillion. Why is that number important? Because the CARES Act gave more money. What's also great for you to understand and, and, and digest, as because I'm always trying to inform you, is that the, when we're talking about $1.3 trillion, a lot of the money in the first stimulus package was eaten up by big business getting big checks. They're gone. They're not coming back in the second stimulus package. So there's a lot more room for money for you. Pelosi has pushed for an additional round of direct deposits for individuals um, that continue on a reoccurring basis, while Mitch McConnell has has um, pushed back for reoccurring checks. Uh, the Democrats want to do a lock with enhanced benefits and unemployment. I'll begin that in the later video. The Republicans initially said they don't. Now they say they want to do. They say they do want to do it. Um, Mitch McConnell has said that any second stimulus package would also include liability protection for doctors and businesses. Democrats oppose the bill. Pelosi has also suggested an occupational health and safety standard to protect workers during the pandemics, while the, Demo while the Republicans said that they don't want it. Pelosi has also said for additional money for local and state governments, um, and Mick, Mick, Mitch McConnell has said he doesn't want that as well. Finally, 
Um, there's issues about unemployment and there's issues about hazard pay. And we're seeing more about that today. The good news is that everyone's saying you're going to get a second stimulus check. We got that. We all know when it's going to receive, be received. We got that late August, early September. So where is the amount going to lie? Where is the amount going to land? And, you know, it is really all up in the, in the, in the, it's really all up for debate. Ultimately, what I want you to understand and be informed about when we come into next Monday is that you're going to start to see two bills. You're not seeing one bill. And I know it might sound confusing. And I know Mitch wants to make you think that there's only one bill out there. No, there will then be two bills out there. There will be the Republican proposal and the Democratic proposal. And I want you to understand that both of them have to be approved by both houses both branches of Congress. So when Mitch proposes a bill next week and then introduces it to members of the Senate late July, because he's in the Senate, it doesn't get ratified in the Senate. It doesn't become law in the Senate. It has to go to Nancy's house, to the House of Representatives, where the Democrats control and they will butcher it apart. The same thing is going to happen with Nancy's bill, which is currently in the Senate. It's there before uh, Republicans who lead the Senate, and they're going to butcher apart Nancy Bills. Ultimately, we know another thing. We know that all these proposals want a second stimulus check to come to dependents for the same amount as the adults. Let me go over that. In the first stimulus package, there was a water down or a non-payment. What happened? Under the first stimulus package, if you had a child and that child was under, I think it was 18 years of age, they got a stimulus check sent to the parent, but it was a few hundred dollars. It wasn't $1,200. If you had a daughter child, or son who was in college, they got nothing. That is gone under the second stimulus package. That's what's so great about the second stimulus package. Both the Republicans and the Democrats say, no, we're going to give money to children and we're going to give it to them in the same amount that we're giving to the parents. So uh, both the Republican and the Democrats' proposals suggest the same amount of payment. That's really great news. Next, if you're an adult dependent, so you are, you know, let's say you're of elderly age and you're on your daughter or son's tax return, you are not eligible for a first stimulus check. You are eligible for a second stimulus check. I want to touch on something else, which is not good news, but it shows that there's something at issue going forward for the second stimulus check that happened on the first stimulus check. A new report out today says that um, this was released by a, the Urban Institute Coronavirus Tax Tracking Service, a national representative survey of adults um, that checked on what happened with the first stimulus check package. And it basically said that low-income people were eligible for the first stimulus check, but were disproportionately not sent the check because they didn't know they had to do something else. I mean, that's exactly what I've been saying on this channel for weeks. How bad, how sad is this? Uh, almost 70% of families reported receiving checks by mid-May, but there were significant disparities of income, race, and citizenship, the report found. So it said that by May, 70% of people who were eligible for the first stimulus check got it. 30% didn't. So who is the 30% who were eligible and didn't get it? It says that of the people who didn't get it, that were eligible to get it, that they were generally in the poverty level or um, had not filed taxes, did not receive the check because the IRS did not have their bank account or home address. Let me read that again. I mean, this is what I've been saying for weeks. It is likely that adults with income below the, uh, the poverty level who typically don't file taxes did not receive the check because the IRS did not have their bank account or home address, the report today found. The IRS created a portal for people to track the check, but that didn't help. Taking the extra step of applying through the IRS portal required internet access, which a lot of people on poverty didn't have. A lot of people didn't have a computer. But one out of five potential eligible non-recipients who never filed, who neither filed a tax return nor received social security benefits uh, reported having no internet access at home. It's basically saying 
and this is what I've been detailing. I mean, it, it's sad news, but on the other hand, it's, 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 it's reassuring news that you and I are doing what we are supposed to do together. That there are some of you who are required to do something else to get the second stimulus check. And that something else might be filing what's called a non-filer. <coughs> if you did not, <coughs> sorry, I'm choking as that plane comes over me again. If you did not file 2019 tax returns, if you did not file 2018 tax returns, you may have been required under the first stimulus package to file a non-filer. And if you didn't, you didn't get the, sec the first stimulus check. Coming into the second stimulus check, I am going to be here for you. I'm going to be here to inform you and educate you about what you have to do to ensure you get the second stimulus check. Because ultimately, the good thing I know is that you have internet access, so you can see these videos. You do have access to something um, that is either a cell phone or a computer because you're able to watch these videos. And ultimately, if you have to do something else, I will be able to guide you on through what that something else is. So of my viewers, if 30% are eligible for the second for the first stimulus check and didn't get it, I'm going to make extensively clear to you and help you as we come into late July to ensure that you get that second stimulus check. Um, so now we know the problem. Now we know the solution. And we also know the solution. What's really assuring today as we go into Friday and we head into the weekend is that the Democrats and the Republicans are talking it up. And talking it up is great news. Next week, what we're going to see is basically a road show. It's a road show. It's very typical in Washington. And you're going to see a road show of the Republicans proposing, introducing their proposals and the Democrats introducing their proposals. What I want you to stay positive and focus with is that you're going to see Republicans say, I don't want this and I don't want that. But that would generally be to the other parts of the second stimulus package. You're also going to see the Democrats, especially Nancy Pelosi, say, I don't want that in the Republicans package. But what's important to remember, that's referring to the package. It's not referring to the check. So when we come in to late July, we have the following. We have that a second stimulus check is going to get uh, that is going to be proposed by both parties. We have that the second stimulus check will be part of the second stimulus package. We have that the second stimulus check will uh, get ratified and become law generally on around August 7th or August 8th. And if it's not, it'll be around August 9th or August 10th. We also have yesterday's report, which I went through with you, which says that the fastest having never done this before that a first stimulus che that a second stimulus check would land to you is around August 28th if you receive your benefits by direct deposit or debit card but there's new indication now that IRS can get it to you faster there was someone who dropped in the comments yesterday who says I don't receive my um, benefits by the IRS. So what does the IRS have to do with this? IRS is the one that sends out the stimulus checks. And so they're the ones that cross-check databases. It's not so much who's sending you your benefits. You know, if you, if you receive your benefits, veterans' benefits a certain way, that doesn't mean that your second stimulus check is going to come from the veteran, from that same organization. But it may get routed to you in the same way. Let me go over that because someone asked me that great question and I want to make sure it's clear to you. The way that you receive the first stimulus check is likely the way you're going to receive the second stimulus check. The only way in which it'll be different is if members of Congress revert or pass a law in which they say everyone's getting it by electronic means. Next, um, the manner in which you received, if you never receive your first stimulus check, the manner in which you receive your, your benefits payments is the way in which you would likely receive your second stimulus check. So you receive your SSH, SSDI, SSI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, or Veterans benefits by paper check. You would likely receive your second stimulus check by paper check as well. If you receive it by debit card, you would likely receive it by debit card as well. If you receive it by direct deposit, you would likely receive it by direct deposit as well. That is great news. And uh, to clarify, to answer that viewer's comment, which is a great comment, is who would actually be sending it to me? It's the IRS. Um, last, another viewer asked me, okay, 
what if I am a dad and I have a wife and I have three kids? Will there be five checks sent to my house? No, there'll be one check sent to your house. Ultimately, these are all important moving parts. I'm here to inform you. I'm here to inspire you. I'm here to keep you motivated, uh, positive, and smiling. Uh, later today, we'll have another update about the second stimulus check where we answer your questions in detail. As always, stay at LA for more. Thank you.